Hello, it's 9 p.m. in RTD. It's time to English New Edition for tonight. Headlines, uh, we have... Uh, the head of state uh, chairs a consultation meeting with the ulema of the country. For the international scene, the death tolls in the United Kingdom, France and Italy rose to over 100,000. Welcome to our newsroom. Uh, the main meeting uh, room of the presidential palace hosted this morning a consultative uh, meeting between the president of the republic, His Excellency Ismail Omar Gele, and many of the ulema, mosque imams and uh, preachers to discuss ways of improving awareness programs to deal uh, with the emerging coronavirus. Uh, the meeting, which uh, was held at the initiative of the President of the Republic, was attended by the Minister of Muslim Zafar's Culture and Waqfa, Mumin Hassan Barre, his closest collaborate, co collaborator in his uh, ministerial department during this meeting. The first of its kind since the beginning of the pandemic in Djibouti, the President of the Republic and Ulema discussed the problem of the corona epidemic, uh, which is uh, still ravaging many people in the country and causing many deaths. Uh, the President of the Republic stressed the important role played by the ulema, imam, and preachers to fight against the spread of uh, this uh, coronavirus, which uh, the threatens the lives of our citizens. In turn, the ulema have committed themselves to accompany the government's effort by intensifying awareness campaign. It should be noted that this meeting comes uh, just a few days before the blessed months of Ramadan and it was decided to extend the period of suspensions of collective prayer, including Tarawih in all mosques of the Republic in order to prevent the spread of the coronavirus on a large scale. At the beginning of uh, this uh, consultation meeting, the President of the Republic, Ismail Omar Gale, stressed the importance of the imminent role of the ulema in uh, raising awareness uh, of the gravity of coronavirus. He added, I am happy to welcome you at the beginning of this meeting, which comes a few days before the advent of the blessed mass of Ramadan. And we ask Almighty God to grant us health and well-being, as you know. We are living these days in exceptional circumstances of, due to the coronavirus, uh, which has spread through the world, while the number of deaths in some countries is in the thousands. Uh, in the face of this uh, unprecedented global pandemic, we have, uh, from the outset, taken all urgent measures to provide care for positive cases and to strengthen pre preventive uh, measures to combat the spread of the disease. So we have also establish a crisis management unit and have issued directive to all public institutions and the state department to act collectively and to strengthen coordination for the success of the national response plan against this epidemic. Honorable member, I would like to pay tribute to the active role you are playing through uh, the Minister of Muslim Affairs in mobilizing public uh, opinion, steering it in the right directions and calling on everyone to respect the restrictions imposed by the government and to follow recommendations of the medical specialists and experts in the file. It is necessary to explain what Islam calls for the need to take reason, medicine and trust of the Prophet, may God's prayer and peace be upon him. Made the first quarantine when he said, if the plague breaks out on your land, do not go out, and if you hear that it has uh, broken out elsewhere, do not, do not uh, go out. Uh. On the other hand, the President of the Republic uh, called uh, on the Muslims uh, to intensify their effort to promote social consciousness uh, by urging the people to direct to direct their efforts towards building and strengthening the spirit of uh, citizenship, unity, cohesion, and solidarity in order to preserve our national pro progress, uh, reconstruction, prosperity, and stability. He added, given the cr increase in uh, number of coronavirus infections, uh, ulema and imams should make the gravity of the situation felt by educating the people in the neighborhoods through loudspeaker in the mosque 
spreading uh, the recitations of the Holy Quran and propagating many supplications because preventive uh, prevention in better than cure every citizen must also be aware of this uh, and or her responsibility both uh, private and public and this requires uh, greater effort and health awareness to persuade people to change their behavior so that they do not expose themselves and uh, other the, to the risks of epidemic and infectious disease so that uh, they do not know it uh, honorable member we must all unit our efforts uh, patience and endurance in the in order to emerge from this uh, crisis because preserving the lives of our fellow citizens from any danger and treat is the goal we seek to achieve with the help of Almighty God and with the participation of the society. We very much hope that God will discover the, the pain and that this pandemic will move away from us and bringing this back to normal so that uh, we emphasize the need for everyone's contributions according to their location and specialization. And we must take the opportunity of the month of Ramadan and the last of you, O oh scholars, uh, is uh, to preserve your great uh, role and resp responsibility in promoting social consciousness uh, and urging people to direct uh, their effort toward buildings and strengthening the spirit of uh, citizenship, unity, cohesion, and solidarity in order to preserve our national pace of progress, reconstruction, prosperity, and stability, said the President of the Republic. For his part, the chairman of the High Committee of the Fatwa delivered speech on behalf of the ulemas, confirming their tireless support for the government and its ongoing effort to prevent the spread of the coronavirus, he added on behalf of the ulema, I would like to express uh, my thanks and appreciation to the President of the Republic for honoring us uh, with these consultative uh, meetings on ways to fight the coronavirus. This meeting reflects uh, the extent of the concern that the President of the Republic attaches to consultations with ulema, dearly beloved, the afflictions uh, is one of the Sunnah of Almighty God in the universe and since we are a Muslim people who cherish their religion we must take reasons to prevent the spread of the deadly epidemic in society. Ulema have a great responsibility to source and they must uh, contribute they must contribute to the effort of the state to respond effectively to this life threatening epidemic uh, on this occasion, as we confirm that the ulema are fully prepared to participate in effort to stop the spread of the coronavirus. After the speech of Sheikh Abdurrahman Muhammad Ali Shamsuddin, the meeting concluded with the dua of uh, supplications from the part of uh, Sheikh Muhammad Amin, who asked Almighty God to pay for the evil of this epidemic on our part. ربنا ظلمنا أنفسنا وإن لم تغفر لنا وترحمنا لنكونن من الخاسرين ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار اللهم أجب دعاءنا اللهم استجب دعاءنا وأصلح أحوالنا وبلغنا مما يرضيك آمالنا واختم بالصالحات أعمالنا واجعلنا لديك من المقربين وتب علينا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم واختم لنا بخاتمة السعادة أجمعين يا رب العالمين اللهم إنك قلت وقولك الحق وقال ربكم ادعوني أستجب لكم وها نحن ندعوك كما أمرتنا فاستجب لنا كما وعدتنا برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم وتب علينا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم ربنا ظلمنا أنفسنا وإن لم تغفر لنا وترحمنا لنكونن من الخاسرين اللهم أحينا حياة طيبة اللهم أحينا حياة طيبة وأمتنا عند مجيء الأجل بحسر الخاتمة وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين in this uh, very special period marked by the coronavirus pandemic, the Dal Hanan Maternity Hospital organized a blood donation day to increase uh, the stock of blood products in collaboration with the Red Crescent of Djibouti. 
This day of blood donations took place in the presence of the director of Dar al-Hanan Maternity Hospital, Ms. Hawa Hassan Gisoud, and the technic technical director is uh, Wabiri Jama Fataha. Maternity staff responded on master in this uh, spread of solidarity to give of themselves to save lives in order to build up stock uh, of this uh, precious liquid and they meet, uh, they meet uh, the needs of the sick uh, maternity war has put in place uh, preventive measures to enable blood donations to, to be made it in a safe environment among the preventive measures against progression of uh, the coronavirus is that uh, the regular hand washings with soap and uh, hydroalcoholic gel with the increase in the numbers of the contamination people the maternity staff has been working for two weeks to produce hydroalcoholic gel for all the maternity staff that's the director and all the staff of maternity war are urging the population to strictly respect the rules of uh, hygiene laid down by the health department the technical director said uh, in his uh, intervention that uh, the particular situation is marked by the corona virus pandemic maternity Dal Hanan wanted to anticipate a possible ruptures of blood with the organization of a blood donation day. The NGO WAMI uh, today handed over a batch of uh, 50 prefabricated uh, containers to the general directorate of the national police. These prefabricated containers are estimated to have a monetary value of uh, 40 million Djibouti francs. The ceremony of handed over Handing over the prefabricated uh, containers was attended by the Director General of the NGO WAMI, Mr. Mesara Mohammed Saif, the Director of the Public Security of the National Police, uh, Colonel uh, Omar Hassan Hussein, and the Director of the International Cooperation of the National Police, uh, Commander uh, Yusuf. The donations of container is uh, intended to strengthen the government EFO in fight against against uh, the COVID-19 pandemic in our country this is also a question for the WAMI NGO to participate actively in the government EFO against the uh, progression of this pandemic in our country. The momentum of solidarity initiated by Djibouti's number one to effectively fight the COVID-19 continues indeed. It was the turn of East Africa Bank to donate 20 million to this uh, noble causes in the studio of RTD, then the Union of the Maritime Agency and Maritime Transit Service contributes substantial donations. These two agencies uh, respectively donate the sum of uh, 11 million and 3 million Djibouti francs. The, the fund collected so far will be used to help and assist people affected by this uh, virus and also to protect the population of Djibouti in these times of crisis. Uh. For the second uh, consecutive day, the Diwan Zakat Foundation is affiliated to the Minister of Muslim Affairs Culture, continued uh, to the tranche of sponsorship of Orphan of the year 2019-2020 in Djibouti City. This event was held in close collaboration with the Minister of National Education. To prevent the spread of COVID-19, the distribution process in the primary schools uh, situated in the uh, neighborhood 5 and 6 bis has been uh, carried out under the supervision of the Director General of Dinah Zakat, Mr. Suleiman Hussein Musa, in the presence in particular of the financial managers of the foundation, Siraj Muhammad Abdullah, the head of the Kafala Department, Adan Hussein Adan, orphan registered with the Diwan in the municipality of Pulaos, which counted the 5,094 orphans have uh, received the terms of four tranches and each orphan has uh, received the amount of uh, 13,000 Djibouti francs. For the international scene faced uh, with COVID-19, Europe, uh, between hope and concern, the fight against the uh, coronavirus pandemic continues to show signs of uh, hope in Europe, uh, despite uh, the still heavy balance sheet in the United Kingdom. There are over 15,000 COVID-19 deaths in hospital alone. In addition, local authorities on the front lines are directly impacted the Minister of uh, in charge, so Robert Jenrick announced it when uh, uh, foundings uh, of uh, one 
1.8 billion euro to support local authority in their work against the coronavirus. Meanwhile, Prime Minister Boris Johnson, who, who contracted the COVID-19, is still resting and recovering in Chikers, the country's residence of the heads of government after his hospitalization, has also said Robert Jenrick. Uh, this is it uh, for the news. Uh, thanks for watching us.